For the past few years, Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Carl Pilkington have been meeting regularly for a series of pointless conversations. Okay. This is one of them. Testing. Is that all right? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the Ricky Gervais Show with me, Ricky Gervais. Stephen Merchant. Hello. And the little round-headed buffoon that is Carl Pilkington. All right. Um, I got a text from Carl yesterday, Steve. A text from Carl, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just read it to you. Okay. See you to Moz for a face rub at 6.30 then. No bum tubes, though. So I was intrigued, and I called Carl and said, I think you've just sent me a text by mistake. What's the explanation of that? My mate, right, Russell, he just said, he said, you know, you, you, there's things that go on in life that you need to experience. Yeah. He said, just just pop along. and I, I, I didn't say yes straight away. What's a face rub? You mean a facial, where you lay down... You just clean your face with a flannel yeah. and that. So but you're going to go lie down with another man and have your face Well, no, bit. this is what I was saying to him. There's, well, there's a couple of questions. I didn't just say yes straight away. I questioned that. I said, well, I'm not that happy with this. I said, look, there's nothing weird going on here, is there? I said, it's not a house, is it? It's a proper <laughs> clinic and that. He said, yeah, it's proper. You wear a, a dressing gown and that. I said, well, I'm not that So he's already that. got you in the dressing gown? Yeah, well, I haven't agreed to that. Today I've worn a little round polar neck sort of jumper so I don't have to take it off. It's not going to get in the way of my face. I made sure I didn't wear a shirt with a collar. I'm not taking this off. They can put the dressing gown on top of this. Right. Okay. I don't know if it's a woman who rubs me head. I don't know if it's a bloke or, or well, whatever. Well, the thing is, you get extra, don't you, for your face rub? Because your face goes all the way back over oh. your top of your head down to the back of your but, neck. But all I was so you've got a big face, haven't all, you? All I was saying to him is, I'll have the face rub, but I don't know if, if once you're in there, right. they try and sell you the old, uh, the, old the, the, the bum tube thing. What, what's what, a bum tube? The, is that a euphemism? What are you talking about? The thing where they pop a tube in and put coffee in your belly and it cleans you out and that. An like enema? That. Why would you have that? I don't. I'm not. I don't want it. I don't. I don't think Why you not? need to. Just because I think I've said to you before about, you know, you, you don't need to be that clean inside. You know what I mean? I don't mind washing my face. <laughs> but what, what occasion do you need where you're that cleaned out? <laughs> do you know what I mean? And well, they, they, it's always a clear tube and that, and you see all the stuff whizzing past. I don't understand why it's clear. I don't know why you've got to see what's coming out of you. Like it's you know like the generation game, making notes of what's whizzing past. Forget it. <laughs> I was watching uh, some different TV, saw an amazing documentary, it was called Tribes. This guy, and he goes and lives with different tribes around the world, these small little indigenous people. Right. And uh, there was one, he went, to, he went to Papua New Guinea in Indonesia, right, Carl? He lived with the Kombai tribe, right. all right? Now, this Papua New Guinea is an extraordinary place because it is one of the only places left on Earth that hasn't been fully explored. There are parts of it that it's just blank on the map because they, they've never explored there. They don't know what's there, they don't know what's going on. So, firstly, that must already freak you out. Imagine that. 21st century, they have no idea what's going on down there. But do they, do they need to know if there's nothing going on? <laughs> well, they, they don't know what's going on. There could be stuff going on. No, but there's, there's no chance that they'll go, we haven't been over there, and someone goes and there's like an Arndale centre. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's going to be there, is it? So there's no... Well, no I'll point. tell you what is there, OK? There's these various small tribes. Some of these tribes are still cannibals, eating people from other tribes do they know they could move on have they got a telly or have they have they seen a telly and gone i'm not up for that or are they just are they saying it's not the amish they haven't chosen but what this. is the difference between the amish and these people well the amish are a, a group of people that choose to live in that way these people are just essentially untouched by civilization i mean they do have interaction with civilization and people do come there but they they still live in this very very almost prehistoric way they did buy a telly but there was nothing on because there isn't any uh, broadcasters they can plug it in <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're yeah. an absolute nightmare yeah but there was one guy okay now he uh said that his brother was dying this was a couple of years ago right his brother was dying he said to his dying brother what happened why are you dying this guy said it was a bloke in another village Okay, he goes over to the other village, he kills this other bloke, right? He eats him, or eats bits of him. Uh, the other village gets a bit annoyed, they go, what's going on, why did you kill this bloke? They went, he went, sorry about that, right? They said, well, you need to make it up to us. He gave him a pig, they said, the pig's not enough. They gave him five pigs, so five pigs apparently made up for the fact that they'd killed one of them. They said, well, hang on, what are you going to do with but this why, bloke's wife? Why were they bartering? Why didn't they just get the police in and say, what's, what's going on? What yeah, police? What, yeah, yeah. What? Why didn't they call in Kojak? Because he'd have sorted it out, wouldn't he? What I mean is, right, they're miles away from anything, but it doesn't sound like the great place to live, right? 
Could they not move? Could one of them go, <laughs> do you know what, I'm sick of this. I, I, I'm, I'm moving or whatever and go to a proper city. How far away is this, um, these Papa people? Um, <laughs> these to, Papa to, people? To, to the next... To the next they're like, like the Smurfs. They're very like the Smurfs. But how, how many miles away from a, like, a place with a normal life going on? But think about this, Carl. Hang Firstly, on. they don't speak the language, so they don't have any practical skills. They've got no experience of civilization. So even if they chose to go and live in one of these cities, what can they do? How can they function? I think there's some bacteria that has better lives than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be offensive. Why? <laughs> Okay, Al, this is the one of the weirdest things. <laughs> this is one of the weirdest things, right? <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> an entire people! An yeah. entire race just of people! Dismiss. No, just no, no. dismiss. I'm, I'm, said, I'm, not, I'm not having a go, but I'm just saying, I, I wouldn't fancy it, is what I mean. But they don't mean, know of nice. another world. How can they imagine that they could... Oh, I'll tell you what, this is boring. I'm tired of, of hunting for food and, and eating fish from the river. I'll tell you what, I'd like a world where there's iPods and room service. I'm going to go and move to New York. They're not thinking like that, are they, Carl? Because they don't know about this other world. When people go to these places on holiday now, they like a little bit of danger. They like to see how the others live. Mm. So all I'm saying is we know they exist. Yeah. The Papa people, maybe people aren't going there. Uh, you know, it doesn't sound like the best place. You know, I can't imagine that having a, a tourist board or anything, right? But would they accept me if I popped over there and, you know, with Suzanne in Papa? Well, OK, this is, this is one of the things that they, they do, OK, which is a tradition you may have to do. These uh, combine, right, they invert their penises. So they push their penises back up inside their bodies. Like a sock. What for? Well, Keeps it's... it out of the way. Of what? Well, if you're running through the undergrowth, chasing a, a, a hog, you don't want it clapping away, you know. But, but it's also become a kind of ceremonial thing, so if you were over there, you may well have to try it yourself. You, you would have to try it yourself. If you went there, you'd have to try it Definitely. yourself. But even cavemen had little pants on. Why, why haven't they... Whoa! Whoa. Uh, Slow down. Rewind. <laughs> what do you Again, mean? Again, you've been watching the Flintstones. No, 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 it's just, you know... Is it a leopard skin pair of pants that's actually right. quite a... Go on. But, but it's a well-known fact that they wore, like... Bear pants or whatever. Bear pants? <laughs> what do you mean, just, bear pants? Just, just, no, 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 listen, you are, you are a qualified uh, anthropologist, so what... Um... I, mean, I mean, that you know, you, when, whenever you see them on footage or in a museum... Footage? Yeah. Or, <laughs> whenever or you where, see that... Well, it's got shake footage. in it, yeah, it's black and white as well, isn't it? Caveman footage. I, I, you always see them wearing a little bit of fur, fur little pants and that. So what I'm saying is, even <sighs> though... What, what year is it to these um, people in the woods? What, I mean, what? I don't know what this conversation don't is know. anymore. I, he, he's just clutching at straws. His mind, his, uh, it, it, it's like um, a fly, his mind, isn't it? It's just buzzing round, it's trying to find a window. It, it, it is just it's like... hitting against pieces of information, but <laughs> yeah, they're just bouncing yeah. off. Yeah. <laughs> Dazed to perplex. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, shopping with Carl before Christmas, and we went round sort of Piccadilly and St James's and those really beautiful shops around there and I went in one shop you had to um, ring a bell to enter yeah they came down and it's like a, a iconoclastic sort of shop and they've they found things from churches and uh, nearly all Russian 16th century pieces onwards this beautiful uh, uh, carvings and, and paintings and statues and I went oh it's beautiful and as I was looking around I heard Carl sidle up for the bloke and go what's the newest thing you've got here <laughs> yeah sure that's his first thought I mean, that is the wrong question to ask of a man who's clearly in antiques, yeah. um, proud of the fact he's got 16th century, uh, kind of classic Russian stuff, to ask, what's the newest thing you've got here? Is that, I mean, what sort of question is that? Oh, I don't know, probably the doorbell. I don't know, what, what does he want to say, oh, my shirt? What, what, <gasps> what were, you were you thinking? What were you hoping for? I, I think it's an all right question, because he, he was saying there's loads of old stuff in there, and he kept going, oh, about the old stuff. <laughs> what was to say? Well, what, what's, what, what's the newest thing you've got? <laughs> and what was Do you know what he said? It? The other question he asked him? He said, how often do you get new stuff in? And I said to him, why did you ask that? He said, well, I was thinking, if you've got antiques and you sell it all, what's left? Like someone's going to sell all the antiques in the world because they're not making... He said, because they're not making any new stuff. What does that mean, they're not making any new stuff? But I know for a fact no-one's ever going to go in there and buy the lot anyway. I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I'm not at any point in my life, and I don't think it'll ever happen, will I go, I need some old Russian wood. 
Because it was brilliant. No, it was I, Steve. No. It was beautiful. It's amazing stuff. There's stuff. There, it's there's mm. um um uh these things uh from the 16th century of sort yeah. of like saints and monks and they're carved but and there's they're loads of it. It's just all piled up. No one's interested. Oh. If I was him, I'd go. Do you know what? I'm into this, but no one else is. Close shot. <laughs> because seriously, it's just piled up, of, uh, piles up on piles of like old bits of wood with pictures on it and that. But there think of fella. a man. Just think of a man 400 years ago that carved this. That carved this, uh, you know. No, but nobody wants it, do they? I've never heard anyone say, you know, oh look, it's my birthday coming up. I'll tell you what, I'd love what? a bit of old Russian wood. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't happen. That's what I'm saying. I've never heard anyone saying it like. I've never overheard someone saying, you don't know where the Russian shop is, do you? <laughs> <laughs> and this is in London, where the rates are high. There was this thing, right, Steve? Uh, them old drawings on like. It was like a panel from a church that someone had d d okay, painted. Right, yeah. And I think it was like, you know, from sort of like 1590 or something. Yeah. And it was this uh, a, a picture of this uh, this mm. saint, wasn't it? So 1590. It could be from any time, really. So there's this one there, right, leaning up against the wall. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. most of them in there was that Stalin bloke, right? Mm. But there was this little. Right, can I just stop with there? Lenin. Right, okay. all right then. Yeah. Yeah. So, so he was on all these bits of wood and stuff. But I saw this other little face, right? Little fellow with a beard. Right? So uh, I said, who's this bloke here? He said, oh, uh, the story there, right? He said, uh, it's this little fella, and he got mugged back in Russia. <laughs> this is right, isn't it? This is what he was yeah. saying. He said he got mugged. This is that, that term. That, I love that, that term in, in a 16th century Russian wood. Oh, no, I'm being mugged. So, so he, he got mugged. He got happy that. slapped. And, uh, <laughs> and, and he said, I've had enough of this. Right? Yeah. And he went to live in the woods, right? Made, like, a little shed. Stayed there, people went to visit him, and, and like, if you've got a problem, you knock on his door and you go, oh, I'm sick of it. And he'll sort of say, yeah, I know what you mean, I've, I've moved out of the city and what have you. And he'd make him feel better, and then they go again. Now, why has that man <laughs> got a plaque? <laughs> if he was around now, there's no way he'd have a bit of wood with his face on it, is what I'm saying. If someone had <laughs> got fed up with living in London or New York or whatever, and they go, I'm going to go and live in the woods. People wouldn't visit him, and he wouldn't get a piece of wood with his face on, is what I'm saying. <laughs> but this man is selling it for about, I think it was about 750 quid for, for this bloke's head. But the chances are that this is either a well-known Russian folktale, or it may even be a piece of classic Russian He's literature. a saint. He was a saint. Or, oh, okay. He was canonised. Well, yeah. yeah. every, everybody was a saint years ago. That seems to be, like, thrown about, doesn't it? He was a saint now. Name him one now. Yet yeah, this fellow lived in a woods in a hut. Oh, yeah, that's Saint John or whatever. <sighs> he's not a saint, he's done nothing. If anything, he sort of said, I can't be bothered with living in a city with everyone else. Everyone else has got to put up with it, but I can't put up with it. I'm going to live in the woods. Well, if you can't put up with it, you're not good enough, are you? You've got no stamina. <laughs> and yet he gets a plaque, is what I'm saying. It's annoying. Who would, you like to see, who would you like to see get a plaque in the modern world? Who deserves a plaque, in your opinion? Probably, like, nurses and that, who, who do a lot of bad things that I think I couldn't do that, carrying lungs about and all that. <laughs> No, but I, I couldn't do, do you know what I mean? That's that's one job that... Oh. I, my mum wanted me to be a doctor. Uh, <laughs> wow! What was she wow. thinking? Oh, what's oh, her expectations this like now? apple didn't fall far from the tree. Oh, when did she start giving up that dream? At what age did she start going, Carl, you don't need to study your books anymore. Go, go and play with the worms in the garden. When did she sort of, like, let you off that dream? Was it the day that she caught you with a spoon up your nose? <laughs> But anyway, talking of emails and that, right? Uh, Nick, who's emailed from Australia, right, Melbourne, he's uh, he's he's been going on about dolphins and that problems with dolphins. What problems? Um, he's just saying when when that that wind happened, <laughs> um, it was like a bad wind thing going on. Hold on, wait a minute. What what bad wind? Um, in in America, they had that Hurricane Katrina. Yeah. Right. And there was like a little bay with dolphins in it and right. like with all guns on them and stuff. What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Because they use dolphins, don't they? They say they're intelligent animal and stuff. Yeah. Um, and they've got them all like, you know, they've all had the training. They're all like ready for, for battle and stuff. Right. Got like rifles on them. What do you mean rifles? They've How got, can they got hold weapons, the rifle? They've got, How can they've they got, hold a rifle? No, it's sort of on a strap and that. It's, what do you I mean it's on a strap? I don't know what they cut them out with, but they're just ready for war. <laughs> what are you off. talking about? Listen, though, that isn't the point. Don't worry about it. Oh, we leave but that one, do we? Is, That's not the point, so let's leave it. So they're swimming about. Right? Yeah, in with, with rifles and berets. Whatever they've got on. Yeah. Right? Ready for, for battle and stuff. Yeah, ready for uh, battle, yeah. The wind comes in. 
the wind comes in. Yeah. Makes makes a wave and that they get out of the little bay. Yeah. Still all kitted out with all the you know weapons. You're talking and that. bollocks. Steve, do you want to look at the? Well, there, there's no way. There's loads of dolphins now swimming round, kitted Causing out with problems. guns and that, with a strap. How, how can a dolphin hold a? Whoa. Again, you've been watching Planet of the Apes. Oh, he's trying to talk to us. What's he saying? He's saying, go ahead, punk, make my day. Look, You're just, talking shit. It's just news to say if, if there's dolphins, you know, if you see a dolphin in that, don't go, oh, it's friendly, because there's some with weapons now. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just I'm just reading it out on email. That's, that, that'll cover it in that, so. Bollocks. Carl, can we have some monkey news before I die? All right. Oh, chimpanzee that! Monkey news, yeah. This monkey that was knocking about called Ollie. It was in this zoo, um, and, and it was the only monkey in there, right? And uh, it was getting a bit lonely because, like, it was sharing its sort of time with, say, an elephant and a giraffe. And no, that. it doesn't happen. And they, w they didn't really. No, no, no. Get whoa, whoa, on that whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. They do no, not. Well, let me just tell you. They do not time. put chimpanzees yeah, but let me in. Tell you. With... No, but, but it's not true. Why would he share his time with an elephant and a giraffe? Gervais, it was it was some kind of flat share. They put they put an advert in the student union. Yeah, saying, yeah we, you know, we, we've got two rooms to let. African mammal wanted, well, not anyway, specific. But what, a mammoth and a... What I'm saying is there was other elephants for elephants to knock about with and that. The monkey, it was the only one there. So what happened is the zookeeper right. felt a bit sorry for him. He, he started to sort of get pally with him. So at lunchtime, when the zookeeper was sat on the wall having his, like, hand butties or whatever, mm. he'd sort of go, you all right? Yeah. And, and it used to come over closer and closer. Right? Yeah. Anyway, within a month, he was sat on the wall having his lunch with him, right? But well, anyway, go so he sat, he sat there, and as time goes on, you yeah. know, he's, he's sort of sat with him most of the day. Monkeys yeah. walking around with him, helping feed the other animals and that. No. But then what happened is the, the, the zookeeper, at the end of the night, when he's, like, locking up and stuff, yeah. he'd feel bad because he'd believe in the zoo and, like, Ollie's sat there and he's like, I'll see you tomorrow, and the monkey's like, yeah, see you later. <laughs> Looking all fed up because he's got home to go to and he's still stuck in his... where he's basically working every day. Right, so he's never, <laughs> he's never going home, right? Now he's sleeping at work, the so, monkey. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, the, yeah. the zookeeper goes home and says to his wife, look, Ollie's uh, having a bit of a time at the moment. So she said, oh, yeah, what's going on? She said, well, uh, she's looking a bit fed up, you know, he's, he's sick of it. So she said, bring him home. It didn't happen. <laughs> so this anyway. is in your head. So, so she said, yeah, bring it home tonight. So anyway, he's, he's looking forward to going into work and that. He sees Ollie. He doesn't tell him straight away. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't it's a surprise for him later. It gets to the end of the day. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, get your coat. He's like, what? Coat? Uh, what do you mean, get no, your no, coat? But, but whatever the equivalent is, right? <laughs> whatever you say to a monkey, it was kind of like, you know, you're coming with me sort of thing. Right. right. So he's going, oh, brilliant. Anyway, no, he's not. So what he do you mean he's going brilliant? He takes Look, it home, So he gets right? his hat and coat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. He and he can't believe he's lying, right? Yeah. He, goes, he goes back to the zookeeper's house. Everything's going well for about a week and a half. Right. right? Treating him really well. He's sat there, you know, he's having a brandy at night before he goes to bed. <laughs> so he said to his wife, Look, you're at home all day, right? Oh, jeez. I'm going to work. I'll leave it with you, right? Yeah. So while he stays at home. Yeah. Anyway, uh, as time oh. goes on. Yep. A little bit of trouble. Whilst the fella's busy at work, Ollie starts getting a little bit cheeky. Tries it on with the missus. Whoa! Right. Well, how the, the does Carl. a monkey try it on with the missus? Are you talking this, this shit? This is classic monkey news. And how does it try it on with so the missus? So he's a bit drunk, he, he, he stinks of smoke, he tries it on with the missus. How does he try it on with her? It's, I, I don't know all the detail on You don't know any bit. of the details. I don't know the detail on that bit. But you don't know the, any of the details. No, I don't know the details on that bit. You don't know, know any of the details. So what happened? So while the zookeeper's away, the monkey did play, <laughs> did the zookeeper's wife reciprocate these affections? She probably went along with that at first. You know, she's cooking at home, getting the tea ready. That's walking past, pinching her arse or whatever. <laughs> and it's, do you know what I mean? It's, it, it starts off just like it does, you know, with humans. Starts off as a bit of fun. Before you know it, you know, split up in the end. Anyway, the zookeeper and the what's it? I think the monkey stayed stayed with the with the woman. Right? <laughs> so, it's all there. It's Honestly, all on email, mate. You, it, it, the fa your imagination. Well, you should write stories. You get should people, write. You get know. people to look it up. It's look, just put in monkey, chimp, Ollie, and it's it's all there.